in that moment, I, I thought I was going to die. I thought we were going to die. So the only thing I could think, only solace in that moment was, here, Celine, you can have my phone. Text whoever you need to text. Contact whoever, whoever you need to contact. Tonight at 530, we're hearing this harrowing story of the intern who was inside that Maryland newspaper building when that gunman opened fire yesterday. Anthony Messenger was huddled under a desk with his co-worker when he handed his phone to her so she could text her loved ones. That co-worker ended up sending a tweet from his account that went viral, giving followers the paper's address and these chilling words, active shooter, please help. Messenger then describes the moments he and his co-workers got out of that Capitol Gazette building. There was, it was chaos. The office was kind of in shambles. Unfortunately, we saw we had to pass two bodies of our colleagues, which was something that nobody should ever have to stomach. There has been an outpouring of support for that newspaper and its employees since yesterday's shooting. Today, the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis released this statement saying we are all Annapolitans and the Capitol Gazette is our paper. When tragic events like this happen, they affect us all. We are standing by to assist you in any way that we can.